going on how you sip. How do people sip? How do, how do people, not like that is how people sip. Does anyone sit like that? I mean, I think this bar is at a good distance. They're trying to sling your arm over further around. Yeah, because you know, like, this is you know, not the moment, but news kind of. But, but. Oh, I see. Oh, hey. Late night chats on mats. Hey, I didn't, I didn't see that. Sorry, I've been rambling. Yeah, um... Hi. Hi. Um, welcome to Chats on the Mats. I'm Steve. I'm Ben. How have we all been? Um, so, this video, we thought we would chat about uh, what we take to the crag. The crag. What's in my bag, what's in your bag, on average, when you, when you go to the crag. our collective bags? Yeah, and, and kind of why we use the stuff yeah, we yeah, use. Yeah. Um, little things that yeah. maybe some people use that uh, you use that other people yeah. might not, for example. Yeah. We're trying not to get too bogged down in like details, like this is a fun lot of rope that's rated for fun. Can't be going, going, yeah, can't be dealing with going into this has got this kind of rubber on my climbing yeah. shoe, and this is the medium clip stick which extends to. And rah, maybe rah. if people want that, then uh, let's know, we can get our geek on. Like, happy to get the geek on, but the, this isn't what the video is about. Yeah. It's just more about what we, what we got, what we got, what we yeah. use, um, and how we use it. Um, badly. <laughs> badly. Badly. Okay, so what we've done is we've now emptied our bags. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> um, and what we've done, we've emptied our bags out on the floor. Um, and we're now just going to go through the kit that we have uh, at the crag. So, Ben. Uh, so we've both got harnesses. I have a Arterix, it's like an SR something or other. And you have a Black Diamond, what is it? Black Diamond Solution. Solution. Cool. Um, and on your harness you've already got your little personal anchor here, which is just a sling with a screw gate. Oh, it's not quite a screw gate, twist gate. It's a twist gate, it. yeah, twist um, gate. Cool. Both got chalk bags, nothing too exciting. Both have got a brush on them. I think we both also have some liquid chalk as well. Yeah. Um, hugely important first aid kit. Um, that's in my bag. I think you've got one that is in another bag, don't you? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Um, shoes. I use these. These are Scarpa Chimeras. Um, because I work at Climbing Wall, we, we have a trade deal with Scarpa, so I can get these a little cheaper. But these are lush, really, really nice climbing shoes. Um, super soft, uh, yeah, really nice. And then you've got a few different pairs. You've got some, what are these, 510 Anasazi Pros? That's the ones. Um, and then a pair of, what are these, Evolve X1s? That's right, yeah. So uh, what, tell me about these two. So basically, the uh, the five tens are a slightly flatter, slightly more comfortable shoe. Um, I use those for slab climbing. Um, they're they're just pretty good standard, comfortable shoes. These are a lot more aggressive. Um, I like to wear really tight, aggressive fitting shoes when I want to climb hard. Um, it's just like Magnus Mibbo likes to take his shirt off to climb hard. I like to put on my really painful, aggressive shoes. Um, to climb hard. Uh, okay, moving down, we've both got just like some slings, some screw gates. I think we've both got a little... Um, prusik loop? Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, a little prusik just in case. So this is just like we have all this stuff just in case. I actually have a, uh, a Pexel uh, ATC guide mode thing here. Yeah. Um, and I've also got, got a nut key, which just so happens to live in my bag. You want to get rid of that, else people might think you're a trad climber. I know, <laughs> I know. That's my only bit of trad kit. <laughs> this, right? This is my trad kit. It's... And is that because you secretly go pirating people's trad gear? No, it's because I only have a second trad because I'm too scared to lead it. 
<laughs> no. uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just in my bag. It does where it lives. Um, yeah, some more stuff and then quick draws. Oh, quick draws. So I have DNN Alphas. Um, generally speaking, I have all the same size apart from a couple are slightly longer. So they're all uh, 12 centimetre drawers, apart from two that are the 18 centimetres, something like that. Um, but I, you can extend these really easily. And then you have, Stephen. I have the black diamond uh, posi wires. So they're a solid gate to the bolt. That's right. So they are a solid gate to the bolt. I like to clip into a wire gate it's just that nice flat face so yeah. so i have those they're great they're not as expensive as the alphas um but that being said i think the quality of them is, is fantastic i've also got on there i think you'll see there are a couple of longer dmm drawers yeah just so extended there's some alphas um but i also have a con panic as well now that is a new purchase I've used it a couple of times um, oh, and guy. really like it. Like there are some drawbacks with it. I can go, well, I think we can go into um, quick draws and things like this on another video a little bit yeah. more in depth. But I basically use it when I'm red pointing a route, if I just want to kind of get up a route um, and um, I just kind of get up and not expend too much energy um, while I'm putting in the drawers. I suppose that's the main bit of our kit. You've got a pair of Beelet gloves because you're an idiot. Uh, yeah. Less less can be said about that the more. And then um, yeah, clip stick. Clip stick. Better clip, beta, better beta clip stick. Yeah, beta stick. Um, yeah. Extends. Clip sticks. Ow. Clip sticks are, are great, aren't they? Clip stick is just everyone should have a clip In stick. In my opinion, uh, means that you can. You can get on harder sport climbs and not worry about not being able to get it. Um, which is kind of like the first thing of, say someone, why don't you climb 7A? Um, they're like, well, I haven't actually tried 7A yet because I'm a bit too scared that I won't be able to get to the top. So, one of those things. Um, I also have um, some sun cream. Yeah. Some loo roll. Some wet wipes ah, for lunch. That's good, yeah. And I've also got three different belay devices. So um, I've, I've got a... Well. Uh, I've got a three degree as well, which might go to. I also, I think I had a ATC that I showed you as well. But yeah, should we talk quickly about these? Yeah, let's. You've got a friction plate. Yep. So the Black Diamond something or other. That is the, that is its name, the Black Diamond something or other. Probably, I just call it all of it ATC. It's, it's just days. an ATC, it's a Black Diamond ATC. Um, and a Gris Gris. Yep. You just have the normal Gris Gris 2. Yep. And then this. Yes. Yes. I have to remember how it opens. It's that one, isn't it? Is that right? Quick, your climber has fallen on the rope and you need to escape the system. Nah, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. Oh, there you go. There we go. This is a uh, Wild Country Revo. These are cool, man. I think. They never really took off, but these are cool. Um, they're the they're true hands-free braking device, right? That's right. Oh, yeah. That's what they claim. And I'm sure there's lots of videos of people doing that on the internet. You know. I, I would say to anyone, definitely give them a try. I would say that they are very much like a tube device. Use them like you would an ATC, um, exactly as you would an ATC. But if something were to happen and you were to let go of the rope, it will lock. If someone is red pointing, then I would say use a Grigri -gri because it's hard to it's basically, it's hard to automatically lock a Revo. Yeah. And a Grigri -gri is just, it's a Grigri. -gri. It's, it's the best.
anyway so time to go thank you for tuning in yeah um like i say uh comment please on episodes that you would like to hear um uh, or would like to see and also feedback about our videos you know do you like them are they a bit shit I mean, no, don't say that. <laughs> you know, you can't say that they're a bit shit. You have to give us constructive feedback. No, we want to hear if you think that it's shit. It's shit. Because, yeah, okay. you know, we want to shake it up. We, we want to make content that, mm. that you guys want to watch. Um, also, we want to make content that we enjoy making. Yeah. Um, so we've got to find a happy medium. Do you want us to, to do some more climbing? Do you want us to be outdoors more? Do you want to see more, like, vlog style stuff? Do you, want um, us, do you want to see us in the gym? Do you want to see us training? Do you want to see what an average um, like training session is that we do? Maybe? Yeah. At the moment, my training session is pretty good. Yeah. Working on the swan curls. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool. Right. Well, until next time, we will. Adios, amigos. We'll see you. Climb hard, climb safe, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye bye bye. Um, yeah.